All right, so I've got the e -Scene solar charger out. It is apparently winter again here. It's 32 degrees Fahrenheit. And we've got this out in the sun, and the sun keeps kind of coming and going. But I do have a tester up to this, and I was just pulling six watts, which now the sun is going down, but that is pretty fantastic for a unit this small. Um, and right now I've got my, I don't know if you can see it in there, but my GoPro is charging. So let me fix my stand here. Um, so yeah, I will uh, keep this out here and we'll kind of keep monitoring it, but that uh, that's pretty neat. Um, so now it's behind clouds, but even behind the clouds I'm still getting between three quarters to one watt. And the sun comes out and it peaked at about six there and it is 11 a.m. So we will see how this does. And you can see it's kind of a cloudy day, but it's still enough to pull in some charge here. So see how she does. Okay, so <clears throat> the first test kind of failed and it wasn't the fault of the solar panel as much as it was the GoPro. Every time the sun would go down, the GoPro would shut off, and when the sun would come back out, the GoPro would not continue to charge. Um, so what I've done is I've hooked my phone up to it, and if you can see right there, pulling in 0.31 amps, and about a watt and a half, and the sun is kind of coming and going still. So we'll keep an eye on it, and we started at 68% charge on the phone. So we'll just see what this does on kind of a cloudy winter day. I'm actually kind of impressed that it's charging at all, to be honest with you. So we'll keep an eye on it. We started at 68% and the sun is still hiding behind clouds on kind of a cold day. So we will see how it does. So this is five minutes later and the test is canceled. All right, so we're getting some pretty decent sun now. Today has been crazy, but it's been a good test actually uh, to show what this e 10 watt solar panel kit's gonna do. I mean, even when the, the sun goes down and it starts snowing and it's cloudy, this thing is still charging. And it's not charging as fast, but you're still getting a charge with it. And I'll kind of show you what uh, what comes with the kit. So, this is a Drock tester that I have hooked up to it, which does not come with the kit, so I'll take that out. But it comes with a small charge cord. Um, you get this nice little uh, case that everything fits into. And the one thing I am impressed with is the fit and finish of everything. These panels, you can just tell, I've used this for about two weeks now, I'm not seeing any lumps, it's staying nice and flat, um, there's no blemishes in these panels at all. And the thing I like the best is the zipper. And it's kind of hard to tell here, but as you zip it, it like seals up so you can't even see the zipper anymore. I don't believe they're calling this waterproof, but as far as I'm concerned, um, I had my smartphone in here while it was snowing and I had zero concern that my phone was going to get wet. So that's really cool. Um, it also comes with some carabiner clips which are kind of handy. It comes with four of them so you can hang this from a backpack. Um, and apologize for the wind here but um, but this I've seen it go up to about six six seven watts on my tester here and keep in mind it is april right now and i'm in the northern hemisphere so i don't get very good sunlight here it's not right overhead it's still early in the year so um i believe this will get all of what ec claims it does and as far as cell phones that cell phone there will take a maximum of one amp while charging this thing can put out an amp and a half so um, even doing like a, an iPad, both the iPads I tested, a regular iPad and an iPad mini, both charge really well. And there goes my box. 
Um, but yeah, I, I've had this out here for about an hour now and it has put 30% into my phone battery and that's a 3500 milliamp battery in that phone. So I am very pleased with this all in all. It's very compact. You can put the charger and your phone or whatever device you're charging. I've also charged battery packs with this. Um, I've got a 10,000 milliamp and a 12,000 milliamp and both did really well. So um, just a fantastic product. And the only thing I'd say is keep it pointed in the sun, obviously. If any one of these cells gets covered, as with any solar panel, it will cut down on the, the charge speed. So, uh, yeah, I'm very, very impressed. So there's a little shot of the back, the specs. And if you're thinking about get one for $30, this is a fantastic deal. I mean, um, it's charged my 10,000 milliamp battery pack with mediocre sun. It's charged that half full, which is 5,000 milliamps, without even good sun. So um, that's just really impressive for something as inexpensive as this is. So go out and get one. I highly recommend it. I thought I'd show you too just how much space is in here. So I can easily fit. This is a Droid Max, and it fits no problem. You're not going to fit an iPad in here. Um, you may fit a really small tablet, but uh, but as far as cell phones and external batteries, um, you are going to have no problem fitting it back here. And so once you have it in, it's all sealed up real nice, and you can lay it flat. But I found that the uh, the power is better, obviously, when you aim, aim it at the sun. So I always try to prop it up with something. So one thing I'd like to talk about is um, a comment I've seen about the e-scene is that it only has one USB port. And really, I mean, that's like buying a Dodge Neon and saying that you wish you had the space of a Dodge Caravan. It just, it's not meant for that. It's a $30 solar charger. And when you have one thing hooked up to it, it'll put out one and a half amps all day long, which means this is gonna charge your, your cell phones, your tablets, just as fast as you would in a wall outlet. So today I've got a 12,000 milliamp uh, battery hooked up to it and getting some decent sun here and it's charging just as fast as it would in the wall outlet uh, It's drawing about an amp uh, Which is the same thing I see when I plug it right into the wall. So um, So just something I wanted to comment on that. Yes, it only does have one Jack, but that's really not a deal breaker especially in this price point you could buy two of these for $60 $30 a piece and you'd have two one and a half amp ports all day long. So I just want to make that point. Another thing I wanted to demonstrate here is these carabiner clips and so I've got this just hanging here and as you can see we're getting some decent sun and yeah it's uh, actually a very heavy battery pack that I have in there. It's about the heaviest one I have. It's probably the equivalent to about four or five cell phones in weight and yeah she's hanging perfectly. And soaking up some good sun. So as you can tell I'm really happy with this product and I highly recommend it especially for the price point. Thanks for watching.